Yeah, I mean, uh, we're excited to get started. Um, you know, we played enough preseason games, and you know, we waited long enough. Um, so we're all excited to get out here tomorrow and put on the show. We have to kind of temper those emotions the regular uh, I think in the beginning of the game, um, obviously everyone is so anxious. You know, especially me and Bron, we haven't played in a while, so you know, I think we're the two most anxious to get back on the floor. But um, I think we all are you know, excited to get back back out and play. Is it a little nervousness for you? First time you'll be playing in front of a Staples Center crowd in the regular season? No. Um, I think more um, anxious than anything. I mean, I'm not nervous to play basketball. I've um, been doing it for a while, but um, I probably will be anxious, just, you know, eager to get out there and just and just play. This team didn't shoot real well from three-point range last season, and the defense was kind of middle of the road. From what you've seen in scrimmages and preseason games, do you think those two areas will improve? Uh, well, I can tell you that we're – um, we're a great defensive team. Uh, we got a lot of great three-point shooters. So, um, you know, last year, last year, most of us wasn't here last year. You know, we coming in with a new identity, new mindset. Um, you know, we're we going to come out and try to uh, make sure that we improve in those areas, um, you know, in other areas as well. Andy, you played the uh, playoff Olympics after the championship game. Where's the and I don't know, man. It's, a, I mean, it's obviously going to be a big game. Uh, you know, new team, uh, new environment, but um, it's going to be fun. I mean, I don't really rank my game. I haven't thought about, you know, where everything ranks, but um, it's definitely going to be up there just as far as, you know, you know, with the team that I have, um, the teammates, and um, just a level of competition that's going to be out there tomorrow. Um, you know, and, and plus it's our first game, so um, it's going to be real fun. This, this team isn't just you and LeBron on, on your own, but just the interplay, the way you two collaborate throughout the season. Are you interested to see how that grows and evolves through the 82 games? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, like I said, we always, you know, learn each other. Um, we continue to learn each other, learn our teammates, learn the offense, the defense. Um, the more and more we get a chance to play alongside each other, the better we're going to be. Um, and it starts tomorrow. So, man, we had a great preseason. Um, you know, saw some good things, saw some things we need to work on, and um, you know, we corrected all those things and we put it to the test tomorrow night. Not particularly in, in terms of your games, but just like two guys so supremely talented as you are, what do you have to learn? Is it just body positioning, where he is on the court, how he likes the ball passes? Yeah, I mean, all the little things. Um, and it's not just him and myself, it's, it's the entire team. Um, you know, we talk about a lot about our shooters, where they like the ball, um, and they like to, the ball to come. You know, early or like they get their feet set first, or um, you know where they like the ball on the down screens and stuff like that. So it's it's all of our guys, um, not just me and Bron. And just yeah. facing Kawhi, you're not facing him on your own necessarily, but just I hope excited you to go ahead and go up against somebody like that, and just the way he's going to influence how the Clippers play as well. Yeah, I mean he's, he's a great player, you know, top player in the league. Um, you know, it's going to be fun going against him and them, but it's about us. You know, it's not about anyone else. You know, we're worried right about how we perform tomorrow and coming away with a W. Anthony, when you cross paths with Laker fans, how much have they ever brought up like a possible rivalry with the Clippers? Um, not much, really. Uh, it was all, you know, you know, win this year and, you know, thanks for coming and all that stuff. It hasn't been really more of another team. Uh, it's more so about the Lakers. Is it, ben is it beneficial for you guys to open up against a team that you expect to be also among the better teams? Uh, we really didn't matter. Um, like I said, it's more about us. You know, obviously they give us a, a good threat, um, you know, and great competition. But um, tomorrow's night is going to be about us and how we come out and perform. And everything that we, you know, cleaned up the past couple of days from the preseason, putting that to the test. The expectations for this team are as high as they are. But this is also a group of so many new pieces. What do you think is a reasonable expectation for what this is actually going to look like? Uh... I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the regular season is different from the preseason. And, you know, most first game, regular season games, you know, um, the first couple minutes can be a little shaky, a lot of turnovers. And, you know, guys, shots coming up short and stuff like that just because of the anxiety. But um, I think, you know, realistically, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, you know. And um, we just got to continue to fight, fight through it and, and make sure that we come out with the W no matter what and then clean up everything else from there.
last season, this team was middle of the pack in defensive rating. How much of a jump can they make, do you think? I think we can make a huge jump. Um, we have some good individual players, and um, we have a great coach that, you know, puts an emphasis on the defensive end. And I think he can put us all in, in great positions to, you know, be successful um, in the game and each and every night uh, on the defensive end. There's a, there a sore spot at the three-point shooting for the last couple of years for, the, for this franchise. How's it looking out there in scrimmages and what you've seen in the uh, preseason games? I think it's looking very good. Um, our team is very deep. We have a lot of guys that can fill it up on any given night. Um, Troy Daniels, um, KCP, just to name a few. Um, but it, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about confidence and, and making sure we're um, prepared to go into the game and be able to take those shots. Because LeBron and AD, they're going to draw a lot of defenses in, and they're going to make the right play. And we have to be prepared to knock down shots for those guys. Avery, a lot, a lot of angles for tomorrow's game, but obviously personal for you, start, starting with the Clippers last year. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what are you feeling going into this matchup? Tomorrow. To be honest, um, you know, every game is important for me, and um, that's what I'm trying to focus on now. Just treating it like any other game, making sure I'm prepared to go out there and execute um, our team's game plan. So no, no hard feelings with those guys? Nah, I mean, it's a, it's a league. Um, you know, I did at first, but now I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried about just going out there and, and getting our first W and moving on to the next game. What helped, what's helped you get over that, Ben? You said you felt some maybe hard feelings at first. I think it's um, the end goal. Our end goal is to win the championship, not just worry about the Clippers. And um, that's what I'm focused on. I'm focused on getting better each and every day um, as a team and as an individual. Is that what keeps you from thinking about any kind of revenge or anything like that? Yeah, um, yeah, because there's only one goal that we're going into the season with, and that's winning a championship. Does it, does it surprise you, the interest in this game locally? Um, no, it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I think the NBA's done a great job of, you know, making the league a, a lot more competitive, and um, there's no, nothing better than having two rivalries in the same city um, with the teams that they've been able to put together. I think it's going to be great for the city, great for the fans, and... Um, uh, it's going to be great for us to go out there and be able to compete against the best, some of the best players in the NBA. Avery Frank seems to have landed on this idea of um, not starting at the traditional point guard and going to the of LeBron at the one, and then yeah. you've obviously had a lot of time there. What have you thought of, of that lineup and, and kind of when that idea first came to you, was first brought to you, what did you think yeah. of that when you first <laughs> I thought it could be a good opportunity for our team. Um, you know, LeBron is our main playmaker anyway. Um, and so making... You know, us being interchangeable with one another, I think it just makes the game that much easier for him and for myself, um, especially on the defensive end. I could just focus on guarding guard point guards, and that's my strength. And mm, I, I can make it easier for LeBron on the defensive end as well. So I think it's going to be great for our team. Do you expect that to be the, the group out there tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Um, as of right now, that's what I, I'm, I'm going in. That's my mindset, but you know, any, anything can happen, and I know every guy be prepared for whatever happens. With LeBron at the one, how does that influence sort of the cross matching and how defenses have to kind of be aware to, to guard who they need to guard? Um, I think it's an advantage on both ends, but especially for us um, with how explosive LeBron is um, in the open court, um, it'll really make it hard for teams to be able to guard us, especially if they're cross matching. We are able to get get the rebound, get the ball in LeBron's hands. Um, they have to figure out who can stop the ball on the run um, with two shooters running to the to the corners. Hey, Consider your background player for the Clippers and out here with the Lakers. What's it been like from your vantage point across the past with both teams families? Um, I mean, the Lakers, as you know, is the history. Um, feels like uh, when I play for the Celtics, the entire atmosphere, like the fans are just different level. Um, not to take anything away from the Clippers fans, but this history in this city, what they've been able to create, it's amazing. I'm just happy to be a part of uh, of this tradition, tradition now. You, I know you, you talk about team goals and, and what this group is trying to do, but on a personal level, um, sort of given what you've gone through the last few years, to have an opportunity at this point in your career to play significant minutes now on a champion team with championship. Um, what does the significance of it it means a lot. Um, you know, the, my first goal is to just have a healthy season. Have, not only have a healthy season, but be able to go out there and, and just play fun and, and free. Um, you know, that's all I, I hope for and wish for going into the season. But most importantly, just being healthy. I feel like if I can be healthy, I can really help this team. You feel like there's a chance to kind of maybe remind people of 
Oh, defense? Or just the player that you... Yeah, um, I think I have a great opportunity to be able to do that and um, show what I can do on the defensive end every night. I think we have 40-some TV games. Um, and we're in the West. We're going up against some of the best guards in the NBA each and every night. And I'll be able to show um, everyone that, you know, I'm one of the best um, on-guard defenders in the NBA, if not the best. Last season, I feel like it's fair that there were a bunch of videos of LeBron circulating, maybe missing defensive assignments and things like that. Does that match up with what you've seen out of LeBron in practice and in games defensively this year? No, LeBron is um, the leader on both ends of the floor for our team. And I feel like he helps put us in in great spots. And um, he's going to make our defense that much stronger this year. Um, with his talk on the defensive end, it, it's able, like I said, it's able to put us in our spots and be able to uh, the defensive players on our team be able to make plays, do what we do best. Myself, JaVale, Anthony Davis, we're going to be able to make plays on the defensive end. And if Listen just, to LeBron. Oh, if I could just do a quick follow-up. What is Anthony's role in, in kind of pushing LeBron to be that guy on defense? Um, I think his role is, um, you know, being that guy that brings it each and every night. It doesn't mean that he needs to talk. Um, he can lead by example, which he's been doing. I, I think he, him and JaVale McGee, to me, have been the, the best defensive players each and every night. And um, that means I have to push myself. Um, LeBron James has been one of the better defenders each and every night as well. We just have to make sure we're a great defensive team as a group. Um, and that's what's going to make us a, a great team.